So this is the L'Oreal Bryce <laughs> Bry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty, and I'm Stephanie. I have to apologize for the state I am in today. I have not had a lot of time this week to record or really do anything because it's summer vacation. The 4th of July was this week. I tried to clean my house because it was a disaster, and that is why you are seeing me now with frizzy hair because it's a 500 degrees out, and a t shirt on that I cleaned in today, and a fancy sports bra. I'm trying to keep it classy for you guys. This video is about drugstore makeup. Really, really, really good drugstore makeup that I swear by and use every single day. Well, I don't like to use the term affordable because affordable is a subjective term, right? What's affordable to you may not be affordable to me and vice versa. Kim Kardashian's affordable is a $500 lipstick, but that's not affordable for me. There are no foundations in this video and here is the reason why. Still to this day, have not found a drugstore foundation that I can use and that gives me similar or the same results as a high-end foundation and maybe that makes me a foundation snob but I think I'm gonna do a video in a couple of weeks where I buy a bunch of different drugstore foundations and then just try a different one every day and then see which one of those is the winner because at this point it's gonna save me money from you know all the high-end foundation that I've been buying let's get right in these drugstore products can typically be found at any drugstore, CVS, Walgreens. We have Wegmans here, it's our grocery store. I don't know where you're at and what you have, but a lot of these products can be found there as well. Target, Walmart, etc., or even online. One of these products is drugstore priced, but not found at a drugstore, but I will link in the description where you can find it because it is an amazing, amazing product. And I didn't kinda wanna leave it out of this affordable sort of video uh, without giving you guys the option to try it out and purchase it. <sighs> I'm like so stressed this week. Who else is stressed when the kids are home for summer vacation and there's like a holiday in the middle of the week and it just screws your whole routine up and you feel like you're playing catch up. I feel like you're gonna be playing catch up for like two weeks. So I'm going to, for my own purposes and to keep organized, kind of do these in the way you would wear them and put them on, right? Cause that makes the most sense. So we'll start off with a primer. So this is the NYX Pore Filler Primer. I just discovered this a couple of weeks ago and I'm loving it. I do have um, pretty, <laughs> pretty obvious pores like on my nose and cheeks and that's about the only place I think that's typically where most people get them like on our fleshy bits but this works wonders I think it's very silicone-y I'm gonna head over to the camera really quick and show you how it comes out it comes out really thick and like gloopy so I'm sure there's like a crap ton of silicones in this which I know can break some people out and does break me out from time to time as well but as far as filling your pores it's amazing. So here's the tube itself. It's all white, which is really pretty. Nick stuff usually comes in like white and black packaging, so that's typical for them. And it opens up. There's about 0.67 fluid ounces in here, so not a ton, but not terrible. And then when you squeeze it out, it comes out kind of tinted, which is different for a primer but you can see or i don't know if you can see but it's super like see it like balls up and you kind of have to rub it in then you just look flawless the next pore filler primer runs you about 14 bucks which was kind of tough for me to purchase it because the smashbox primer is only like 30 bucks so i'm like oh it's only twice as much but you do have to save a buck here or there so i thought i would give it a try if you really want it to perform as best as it can without sort of balling up on your face Put your skincare on first, like your lotions, oils, whatever. Let those sit in for 15 minutes or so, which you should be doing anyways. Then go ahead and put this on, and then let that sit for an additional like two to three minutes before putting your makeup on. It may seem like, oh, that's so much, I don't have time for that, but you will thank me. It will make your makeup in general just look better. Let's move on. So like I said, I don't have a foundation because, ugh, I'm a foundation snob, but the concealer that I love from the drugstore and will use probably until the day I die, oh, that was depressing, the day I die, it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. I just can't say enough good things about this. It's awesome. I like how it comes, you know, in this little, like, tube thing, and you kind of, like, put it on 
here and you don't have to dip your finger into anything because I hate concealers that I have to dip my finger into. It drives me crazy. It does really cover dark circles well. It's thin, not like as thick and gloopy as a lot of super heavy concealers um, that are meant to cover dark circles. It Cosmetics, I'm talking to you. It doesn't settle in fine lines, which those thicker ones can. It's light. So because it's meant for anti-aging, it has goji berry and halaxyl in it. I think that's how you say it. And those are supposed to be for anti-aging and hydrating and firming sort of you know, benefits. And so that, that really does help as far as your under eye area goes. But I throw this on everywhere, especially when I'm in a rush and I don't have time to like grab a different concealer or mess with it because I know this is going to go on really seamlessly and blend really well. I'll go ahead and throw it on everywhere I need it. And then, you know, one and done. I love it. It's awesome. So the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, well, we're in you about $9.99. And another good thing about it is you can see when you're running out where a lot of products, you know, you can't see like this pore filler thing because it's all white. I have no idea when I'm going to be running out of them. So I'm just going to be in a, in a bind. But this lets you know when you're running out. And there's this cool contraption in there which looks like it pushes everything from the bottom up so you're getting every little last drop of product out of here, which I like as well. And, you know, you pop it open like this and that's the top. It's so gross and messy like I'm embarrassed but she does get a ton of use so and then you just go on like that on my way back to my seat after showing you that I just uh, tripped on one of my lights again and it pulled it out of the wall and then it came like crashing down almost knocked my camera down and I can't first of all don't know how much more damage and abuse I can do to these lights. I trip over them and knock them down all the time. And second of all, am I just having like a super unlucky week or something? I don't know, but I almost died. Let's move on. So the next thing I want to talk about is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. So I think this is meant to be a liquid highlighter, but I do not use it like that. I use it and I mix it in with my foundation to give me kind of like a glowy, dewy look. I'm just straight on the skin. It's a little much for me, but I do like it mixed in with foundation. And I find that if I have a foundation that's just a tad too dark, throwing a little bit of this in there will kind of lighten it a shade or enough where it will be wearable. So you get about 0.67 fluid ounces of product in here and it will run you about, oh my God, it's $14.99. <coughs> I just choked on the price of that. Wow, so it's $14.99 for this. I don't feel like I paid that much. I must have gotten it on one of those like CVS Rite Aid specials. I thought I only paid like $9.99, 10 bucks for it, but it's, I guess it's not super affordable, but it's awesome. You can do a lot of things with it. You can put it in your foundation, like I said, to lighten it up a little bit or to add a little glow when you wanna look dewy and youthful. You can put it on as a highlighter if you really want that impactful pop of like shimmer. I use it on my collarbone, right? Okay, so I'll do like one of these. I don't know if you can see, but it's Lumi, man. If you go to Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, places like that, Maybelline, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, they're Revlon, they're always doing these buy one, get one 50% off kind of things. So if you're already buying, you know, a L'Oreal lipstick or something and they're doing a 50% off thing, it's only gonna run you seven bucks, completely worth it. So this is what it looks like. And then you open it up. Put a little of that liquid gold on because it's $14.99 for less than an ounce. Struggling putting the cap back on. There we go. So it's really pretty. Okay, so now that my left hand and collarbone are glowing like JLo. Next is the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the one that I said you can't really find at a drugstore, but I think it's an affordable drugstore sort of price. It's the most awesome, most awesome loose powder ever. So this RCMA No Color Powder will run you about $12. You can get it on beautylish.com. I will link that. I think you do have to pay for shipping, so after all is said and done, it comes to maybe about 16 bucks. But this stuff, there's three ounces of this. It will last you for Ever. No drugstore brand can compare and I have tried multiple multiple loose powders. I don't even want to talk about the stress it's caused me. Either they're way too white and they leave this ghostly cast on you or they are a different color, you know, a tan or they're too dark or they're too light and it's awful. And even if they say no color like this one does, it's not true. They're, they are not no color. They always leave this awful white sheen or something or they look powdery or they look cakey and this does 
none of that. And this will literally last you forever. I think I bought this, I don't know, four or five months ago. Yup. I want to say four or five months ago I bought this and it's you know only down to here like that's how much I've used of it. It's kind of in like a little sh salt shaker like kind of thing so that seems awkward. So what I do is I take a little like a jewelry box, a bracelet box, you know, when you would get from Pandora. It's cardboard, it's the square little box, and it has a lid on it. So I will pour a little bit of that in the box, put the lid on it when I'm done, and then when I need more, I just refill in there, and it works really well. It keeps everything together so there's not powder flying all over. So this is her. It's legitimately the best, best loose powder, no color powder I've ever used, guys. And then you open it up, and you see, like, you can... <laughs> I'd be mad about this if it wasn't going to last me forever. Look at how much product I've used in months and months and months. And I don't use a lot of um, loose powder just because I do have somewhat dry skin. So I typically only use it in my areas where I know I'm going to get shiny throughout the day and under my eyes to sort of bake those to keep them looking good. I hope you will like it if you get it. So I have a couple lip products and then a couple eye products and then we will be done. And I'll start with the lip products just because, you know, down to up. No, I'll start with the eye products because you do your eyes before you do your lips. Lips are last thing. Come on, Stephanie. What? Are you like new to this world? So eye products first. So this is the L'Oreal Bride. <laughs> Bride. What? Oh my God. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. You would be surprised how many takes it took me to say that without messing up. What's for your eyebrows basically? I really like it because first of all, it doesn't break off. The pencil is thick enough where when you're like trying to draw your brows in or fill them in, it's not breaking off every five seconds, which drives me crazy. And there's a brush on one end so you can, you know, like get your brows up there and work in before you even start filling them in. Comes in a lot of colors, so that's also good because if your brows are too light or too dark, you'll look weird. And like I said, it's got a really nice thick angled pencil which allows you to have more control over the shaping of your brows. You can go in and make sort of hair-like movements I don't know if hair-like movements, well, you are making it look like hair, and you can go in and make more bold strokes, so you kind of have a control with that. I love it, it's one of my favorites. Sometimes I'll follow it up with a brow gel, and sometimes I find like I really don't have to. This will run you about $10.99. Okay, so I have two, <laughs> Okay, so I have two drugstore eyeliners for you. One's liquid and one's a pencil. Typically, I always use liquid eyeliner because I'm always doing a wing, but I do like to use a nice gel pencil eyeliner in my waterline if I'm you know, going crazy or I want to kind of make a more bold statement with my eye look. So we'll start with the liquid. So this is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. I always get it in the black shade they have because I don't know why anybody wears liquid eyeliner in anything but black. Like, come on, why? I, I just, I can't say enough about it. Has a really, like, really tiny tip so you can kind of make a thin cat eye or if you're not super good at wearing a wing, you can, you know, try it and then kind of fill it in to build it up to what you want it to be. The color's awesome, it lasts forever, it doesn't do a ton of stuttering unless it's running out and when I say stuttering I mean, you know, when you're going over your skin and it's leaving like patches of skin where the color didn't land or you know, you weren't pressing hard enough or whatever. So it's pretty much a foolproof, like idiot proof eyeliner, liquid eyeliner to use. And that's why I love it. I'll show you really quick on my hand how it comes out. So here it is. Boom. And as you could or couldn't see, I didn't have to press hard. I didn't have to um, you know, line it up. I didn't have to really worry about slowing down to make a straight line. It's pretty much idiot proof. It's not fading, it's not moving, it's not budging, it's beautiful. I should probably tell you how much it costs. So this is, I think this is really affordable, even though I said I hate that word, but it's only $7.99 for this. There's expensive, expensive eyeliners out there that this performs just as well as like the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. So this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. I love these pencils because they come in really cool colors. 
These are $7.99 and they last forever. They go on so smoothly and when they say they're waterproof, these are waterproof. If you want that drama, if you want that pop of color in your eye look, these are perfect and really easy to use and work with. Let me show you. So here she is. This one's in the color Silken Turquoise. And it's not even really sharpened, so I don't even know if this is gonna do it justice, but. Look, and it's metallic, and it shimmers, and it's beautiful. We did the eyeliner, so let's talk about mascara. Um, without a doubt, and I mean, I was a huge CoverGirl Lash Blast loyal fan for years. All through high school, all through college even, and into you know my late 20s and early 30s. Oh my god, I feel so old. I was a Lash Blast fan and then I you know kind of started going into more expensive mascaras and I was like, these aren't really that different. Why am I paying so much money? And then I went back to you know go to get some more CoverGirl Lash Blast and I was like, let me try something different and I tried this stuff and I loved it. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. I really love the wand. It doesn't flake off. I don't have to do a ton of um, I don't have to do a ton of coats. I mean one, two if I'm feeling frisky and when I do do more than one coat it doesn't clump up or give me issues and it's just a beautiful mascara. They make a purple one too and I'm not sure what the difference is. I do have one but I always find myself reaching for this one. In fact, I have two so you can tell I'm always reaching for it because I must have been at the drugstore once and I was like, oh man, I better grab another one in case I run out because I can't be without it. So that L'Oreal Butterfly Intensa Mascara will run you about $7.99 at the store. But like I said, man, get on on one of those buy one, get one 50% off. Wait till those are happening, which I feel like is once a week, and then just go in and get all your drugstore mascara at once. Let's talk about lips, baby. Let's talk about lip products. Okay, so I have two lip products to talk to you about. One is a lip liner, and then one is a, I guess it's supposed to be a lip gloss or a matte lip gloss or something, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. So we'll talk about the liner first. I have always had a really, really bad love-hate or just hate-hate relationship with lip liners, right? Because I really wanted to use a lip liner. It makes your lipstick look better. It makes it look neater, and I think it makes it last longer, so it kind of doesn't travel out of where it's supposed to travel but I always felt like they were dry or I couldn't match the color or you know it just didn't go on right and ended up being more messy and more stupid looking than it would have been had I not used it. These lip liners have changed the game for me. I will never ever 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 buy another lip liner. I don't care if it's high end. I don't care if it's cheaper. I don't care if y'all say it's better. This is the best lip liner I've ever used. I have two of them here here, but I have about three or four other different uh, shades and colors to match with whatever lipstick I'm deciding to wear. These are the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Shaping Lip Liner. Um, right now I have the reddish color here and I have the brownish color here, but the reason I love these is because they go on super, super smooth. They're not breaking off. They're not thin to the point or I don't know, just dry, where if you're going on and, and putting it on, it's breaking kind of like an eyeliner and you have to keep like going back out and going back in and it gets all weird and like stuttery looking. I can't stand it. And there is a high end lip liner that I will not name because once again, I'm not trying to slander anybody that does that and it drives me crazy. Maybe I'll like make a video about products that I absolutely hate and suck. And you know, I'll just wait till I'm in a bad mood and then I'll do that so that you know, it makes me feel better. But let me quickly show you guys these awesome lip liners. All right, so here is the lip liner. This one is in the shade, I think it's like cherry or something, very cherry. So. <laughs> and then this is the one I use if I'm wearing like a brown lipstick and this one is called Totally toffee. And I have a pink one, and I have one that's a little bit more mauvey or purplish for when I want to do that. And I have a nude one, so I have these in every single shade and color you could imagine. 
and I love them and if they made more I would buy every single one even if I didn't have a lipstick to match I would find a lipstick to match because I love them how much are they Stephanie good question the color sensational lip liners the shaping lip liners they're $7.99 each when I do buy them once again I wait till those drugstore buy one get one 50% off things go on and then I buy like six of them and I'm only spending you know at that point ugh, still a lot if you're buying six of them but whatever they're awesome this is the Revlon HD, no wait, Ultra HD. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. So it's supposed to be a gloss and then it mattes down. Um, I just like them because they're in fun shades. So when I initially bought mine, I bought the pink one and then I bought the purple one to go over. So you're supposed to be able to sort of layer these to make different looks or make it look holographic or whatever. And it does actually work and they look really cool. They take a while to matte down. That's the only thing I would say. And when they do matte down, they don't get dry or cakey or creasy. And if you do reapply over what's already matted down and kind of worn off, it doesn't get a weird like pilly effect where the bottom layer is fighting against the top layer you're putting on. So I really like them. They come in awesome colors. Like there's so many colors. There's a green one that I want to try, but I don't know if I'm brave enough. I'd like to put the purple one on my lips and then layer the green over and just see what that looks like, but I don't know if I'm going to a rave anytime soon to try that out. Okay, so here is the purple one, and then here is the pink one. So you can kind of see how this one's like a little holographic almost or duochrome where it changes colors and this is a little thicker and more of a just standard pink color and I like to layer this one on top of this one. Just in case you were wondering too, which I've never noticed but they smell really good like berry and vanilla. So you can get these Ultra HD matte lip colors at any drugstore. They're about $7.99. I could keep saying get them on the buy one, get one 50% off special that they usually run, but I feel like I'm being redundant, and so, oh, that's Bella, sorry. Two more things before I wrap up. Everybody over here is getting restless, the dogs are growling, the kids are whining, and once again, you know, my time is limited this week. These are some of my favorite nail polishes ever. It's the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. They are awesome because they come in amazing colors, so many colors. They have a nice, big, thick brush. It takes less time to cover the surface area in your nails, and it just puts a better coat on, I think, than these little tiny brushes that you have to like do some nail art with or something, and I don't have time to do that. I have no time to paint my nails, so it has to go on quick, and it has to dry fast, and it has to look really pretty, and it has to last, and this, Nail polish does all of that. They're five dollars and forty nine cents. I always get mine at Target, but they have them at Wegmans. They have them at any drugstore you want, and they come in such pretty colors. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Aiden wanted to say hi. So, just random water bottles sitting in my recording area. But the last thing I want to talk about because it's your final step when you put your makeup on, is a finishing spray. So this is the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Everybody knows about it, everybody talks about it. You just, you know, hold it kind of like this and then, wait, I don't, I didn't feel it. Maybe closer? Hmm. And then it makes your makeup last longer and it takes away any like oiliness that you're supposed to have. It's supposed to make you look matte. It's great, it works wonders, I love it. I have two bottles of it in case I ever don't know where I put one or I wanna travel with one because I need it. I need it no matter where I go. And that is gonna run you about $8.50. So, that is it for my drugstore picks, my drugstore faves. I suggest that you know you guys go and check them out if you haven't already. Tell me in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, what are your favorite drugstore finds or faves that, that you can stand by and that you use every day. And go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to hear babies crying behind me while I'm trying to record. I better go guys. Stay kind and stay beautiful. Mwah.